My name is Vyastiak. I'm a navigational officer for the Zotrope Corporation, a teleportation division of Yi International. It's a job that I was literally born into. Over the last hundred years or so, we hit the wall with teleportation technology. It had gotten to the point where teams of top scientists couldn't really keep up with the math and the physics that would allow us to transmit matter further and further distances. So they put all of their effort into focusing on the development of people like me, proxy intelligence. We have been genetically designed to understand the intensely complicated mathematical information it takes to operate teleportation machinery. Other than that, we're just people. Well, plant people. In the beginning of all this, they discovered that plant tissue made for better engineering. So we are basically grown in super factories by top-notch engineers. The corporation tries to cultivate some sense of a father-son relationship, but they don't really love you. That's how you end up with a name like Bias Tioc. Nobody cares. Am I finished? Hey, done for the day, buddy. Going off to Zoos to get a drink? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, then so I, I thought uh, if you were so frightened by lobsters, so why, why are we here? That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you know, what I would have said. Yeah, yeah, completely. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's the kind of thing that we you put in the hard days of work, and then you go home. And it's this whole lobster thing. That's exactly what I would have said. She was amazing. They always are. Her many tastes and textures and scents. Holy animal. Once the sweat had washed away their perfumes and your skin pink and tan without the slightest hint of green gold blush, jointed fingers and bones, hair. After countless liaisons, it was amazing in itself how these creatures still had the power to fascinate me. May I join you? Uh, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. May I join you? Yes. I know, I know. I was looking at you. I'm fascinated. I I think it's beautiful. Your couplers? Oh. May I buy you a drink? Oh, okay. I want a siren song. They put it with a drug that's still legal, but it won't be for very long because it messes you up. Like you get wasted. <laughs> they squeeze it out of one of those things. One of those little things that they get on Europa under the sea, you know. A Europa deep sea arachnid? Yep. And, well, I want one of them. Sure. <laughs> Bartender! Whoa. One siren song, please. <laughs> What's it like? You know, it feels really different for me. I'm from Ohio. You mean to be a navigator? The green plant. Your your plant parts. <laughs> My engineering? Oh, well, it feels good. Sunlight feels good. Being around people feels good. Especially in a place like this. There's a lot of breath in here. Makes me feel alive. Can I see your hands? We spent two hours in mutual exploration. All through it, she breathed her questions into my ear. Each one a moist explosion. Good. Oh, it's so bright. Did you sleep well? Uh-huh. Sure. What happened last night was, uh, I was a little drunk. You're a plane, you know, in the drink. God, you know. Yes, I know. I think you knew what you were doing, what you wanted. I think you got it. Don't tell me what I want. I've heard this. Been through all this before with many women, a few men. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, please leave. Don't be angry. There's no reason for it. You got what you wanted, and so did I. That's neither of us begrudged the other. Stop telling me what I want. Speak for yourself. You're the one who got what he wanted. You had sex with me, didn't you? Now leave. 
I don't think that's all I wanted. No, that's not it? All right, then. What did you want? I suppose I wanted to be plugged into something that was not a machine. The Zotrope company technician screwed the cables and cords into my skull and set me down with navigational helm. I closed my eyes and slowly my consciousness merged with a central navigation computer. We began the intricate tedium of shunting people and material from one end of the solar system to the other. Millions of miles, all in the time it takes to cross a room. Six hours into my shift, I could barely remember what the common stock woman had looked like. I realized that she neglected to learn my name. I realized it didn't make a difference. It never does.